In this video, we'll take a brief overview of theme options. To start, go to your WordPress dashboard, then click on B theme from the left hand side menu and go to theme options. Here you'll find tons of settings that will help you tailor your B theme website to your needs. This first tab in the left hand side menu is called global. It contains general options where you can change things like layout, grid size and style. You can also set up a global background, use transparency options for the header, menu, content or footer and even set up a favicon. Ok now let's move on to maybe the most essential settings panel which is the logo. Here you can choose your logo from the media library, set up a different logo for the sticky header change its size, and much more. If you want to have a different logo for mobile devices, you'll find it in the Responsive tab under General. The Buttons tab contains all the settings to choose a predefined button style or create a custom one from scratch. We've already made a video about that, the links are in the video description. The next thing you'll be most interested in is the Header and Subheader tab. Here you'll find over 20 header styles and lots of related options to create a fantastic header. There are also subheader options. The subheader will by default show under the header and display the title of the page and the breadcrumbs. The extras let you enable or disable the top right bar which contains the action button, search, WPML language switchers and a banner. Moving on, we go to the Menu and Action tab where you can change the behavior of the menu items. For example, you can set the style that defines what an active menu item would look like. The Action Bar tab contains options to enable and show the action bar in certain places. If you enable it and fill in the fields, it will be shown on the top of the header. This is a perfect place to display the most critical information across all pages. The next tab is called Sidebars. It lets you create and manage custom sidebars. We've also made a separate video about that, so be sure to check it out, links are in the video description. Ok, let's continue and go to the Blog, Portfolio and Shop tab that contains all of the necessary options to customize the blog, portfolio and shop pages, including the featured images. There are so many options here that we already have made a separate video just for this. Please watch it if you're interested and as always links are in the video description. The Pages tab will let you enable or disable comments, select a custom 404 page or enable under construction. The first thing you would probably use in the footer options would be to change the copyright information. If you'd like to learn more about the footer and its capabilities. Please watch our other two videos about customizing the footer and managing widgets. Links are in the video description. Moving on, we see the Responsive Option tab. It contains general and header settings for mobile devices. As mentioned before, you can change the mobile logo, disable the Wrap Move Up option, or change the footer text alignment. The Header tab is much more interesting. Here, besides the standard options like transparency or sticky, you can also set the minimal option for the mobile header. If this box is enabled, you can then scroll down and choose any of the minimal styles for the mobile header. This will reduce the number of elements displayed in the header, so we suggest using a side slide mobile menu to show social icons or the action button. You can change all of that in the menu section below. Here you can also set the mobile breakpoint. This is the width at which the menu transforms to the mobile style. Select a different menu or set the side slide width. There is also a possibility of changing the mobile burger style icon to text and making it sticky. The next tab is for SEO options. Here you can set all of the essential information your website needs to be better viewed by search engines. If those options are not enough for your needs, please disable the built-in fields and install the Yoast SEO plugin. The Social tab lets you fill in your social media profile links. 
Now, please remember to paste an absolute path with HTTPS or HTTP. When filled, they'll appear as icons in the action bar and footer. The next big and most used options panel is colors. Here you can change every color in the theme. The most important thing to mention here is in the general tab. If you select a skin color from the dropdown, all colors will change to this skin style and you will not be able to change individual colors until you choose the custom skin option again. This also applies to one color skins. Moving on to the fonts, here you can choose a font family from the Google Fonts library. The size and style settings allow you to change the most commonly used font styling options like size, weight, line height, or letter spacing. If you'd like to upload your own font, you can do that in the Custom tab. We already have a video about that, so please find it under the video in the description box. Translate options let you change most of the built-in phrases to fit your language. Now, unfortunately, this is not a multilingual option. You would need to download the WPML plugin to do that. The link is in the description. The Custom CSS and JS tab is pretty self-explanatory. You can add custom code to change the appearance and functionality of the theme. We finally arrive at the last tab in the Options panel, Backup and Reset. Here you can export and import your theme options or reset them to default. Okay, that'll be all for this video. We've covered almost all of the primary options inside B-Theme. Please be sure to check out the video description box for more detailed videos on some of the settings. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.